day two fusion. Hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. We don't get to wear that dress the whole game. <laughs> what? I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives. And no close friends. She was sick often, always on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. So, what's this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on. What? Like one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you are right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, I is the only witness so far. But if you're going to take on a, a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for a better sidearm. But I just... Upgraded mine. I read your report. Still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department. Give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. Mod permit. Come back later. Okay. Hell yeah. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? Oh, maybe this way. You better put on your vest too. Can't be too careful. Okay. I feel like the Kevlar is actually... Well, it has less energy. More critical, more defense. Haha, <laughs> at last, it's mine! What?
What a case to have on Christmas, huh? Yes. <laughs> Are these vending machines? Okay, this looks like the exit. I don't think we want to leave the building right now. The weapons department? You didn't hit your head last night, did you? It's right downstairs. Thank you. I've been through a lot, okay? Whoa. I don't think there's uh, anything really here I can do, though. Oh, what are these? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Where do these stairs go? Sorry, only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Well, fine, then. Go get my gun. Start down this way. Authorized personnel only weapons department. Doggies. Wish I could give her a nice Christmas dinner. Your wife or the dog? Bye, doggies. Hey there, good looking. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy? Who knows? So, what'll it be? Shotgun? Rocket launcher? Wayne! Y yes, sir. Idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay. Sheesh. Torres, I need some equipment. For last night's case, heard it was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you, but I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't send you off empty-handed. Here. This is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. M1 M16A1. Captain Baker already m notified me. Show me your modification permit again. Which gun? Wait, what? Oh, um Add slot? Yes. All right, just wait here. 
add slot to my new gun. All set. But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. Psst, don't tell Torres, but you can use your tool to tune up your guns. You can rearrange equipment parameters and add effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. Tutorial time? Tutorial time! Tune up icon! Using the tool icon, you can add or remove parameters and added effects on your weapon or armor to create your customized equipment. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. So, if you want to remove, you can remove a mod from any weapon or armor, but you'll lose the weapon or armor in order to, like, get that mod back to put it on a different gun. The number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots. You can increase the number by getting your equipment modified at the NYPD weapons department. You got it? Trust me, you can never have too much firepower. Of course, can't use them without bullets. So you better make sure you always have your club. Just in case, you know? Now, why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Speed up active time. Bonus point. Item capacity. I think I've done all I can do right now. Well, you look new. You're not the lady I talked to before. Um, why does he remind me of, um... <sighs> What's the kid's name in Xenogears? With the, with the big head. <laughs> hey there, you lost? Dan, yeah, <laughs> he reminds me of Dan for some reason. <laughs> like, he, he kind of looks like an adult, but like a short, grown adult. The 40-year-old kid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey there, you lost? Ah. Uh... Ben? Daddy! Oh, that's your son. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is Ben. Ben, this is Aya. Now, what are you doing here? Here. Tickets? Oh, yeah. The concert. Sorry, son. Daddy's real busy today. I'll promise I'll make up for... Fine! Ben! Guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father too after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. Oh. Ouch. You met Daniel's son, Ben? Daniel divorced his wife last year. This was before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father, so he fought for Ben's, Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt if he has time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. Aw oh, shit, which one was Baker again? Is he the guy in the office that told me to come back later? I don't appreciate him bossing me around like this. Sir. Y 
you were looking for me? Yes, we're having a press conference now, and I want you to I want you there too. Me? That's right. You'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect, so you let me do the talking, understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. Oh, great. So, you're saying that this could be the work of a terrorist? That is what we currently speculate. How about accounts of officers? Uh, how about accounts of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was... That was due to a rare, highly flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. Another question. Then how did Detective Bria survive without so much as a minor burn? That is a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. Aya! Your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa. No, she said she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had even been taken over. Her body had been taken over by this Eve. What's this Eve? Some kind of an alien? People, please. She is very tired and we are still investigating. That will be all for today. Just had to open her mouth. I, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. That is not the point. Who's going to believe you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only... Baker here. Who? What does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker... What? Meat? You'll have to speak up. Yes. What? Yes. All right. Some Japanese scientist, I think. <laughs> Couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some Mido something saying he's coming over here. Mido? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? Might have heard about that in school. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell! That's what Eve had said. That it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just heard that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Aya to go talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before the media. It may explain that phone call, too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. I'll bring the car around. Meet me at the front. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Museum? We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. Clamp? Dr. Clamp? What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria something, but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. 
That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in a museum? Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We're going to have a grand time with this one. But what's wrong? What do you have against antisocial people? I take offense to this. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. It's been a while since I've visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm, looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what uh, the security guard can do for us. Okay. Oh, crunchy sounds. Crunchy, crunchy. Hey there. How you doing? Doing okay. Pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? Nah. We just want to talk to him. That's all. Thank you. It shouldn't take long. The place is pretty creepy without anyone in it. You'll find him in the research lab on the second floor. I don't know what that first dialogue said, but it went away before I could read it. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out... ever. Thanks. Can I take a look around? Anything for me to click? Clicky click? Oh, by the way. Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let's just keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebook's on the counter. Thanks. Okay, I think I just, I think I did it. I'll save my progress. Ring, ring, ring. What's this? Jukebox? Just hope this place doesn't explode or anything one of these days, you know? Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> What kind of research is he doing? I thought he was just mitochondria. Hey, Aya. Over here. I'm going the other way. Ooh, what this? Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Excuse me? Hello? Hey! Dr. Clamp! Dr. Clamp! I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Ah, uh, I have an itch and I can't... Ugh. Stupid glasses. Feel sorry for any of you guys who have to wear them. 
Okay, that's better. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? What? This? Again? What is this? Bro, I can barely read that. This man. I know him, I think. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Y yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Haha, <laughs> you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? Uh, sir? That's why we're here, because you're the expert and we are not, okay? The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example, the brain functions due to the interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 20, 200,000 V of electricity? Volts of electricity? Did you? Did you? I bet you didn't, because you're a stupid little person. This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustions from last night were. For a human to burn and melt, 1,600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in what we in that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you, you puny brains! You have no idea! The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers burst. Form. When the cells make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed the genetic information, the nucleus is cut off and in essence dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates 10 times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? 
but you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? And when I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate 10 times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. Yeah, the mitochondria really seem to like spreading like wildfire. Blah, blah, blah. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She? Called herself Eve? Sorry, but I told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it! <laughs> the, uh, the dialogue is top-notch here. All right, are we going back to the police station? Hi, pizza. Hey, Gorgasan people. Regents. What the hell is wrong with this, that guy? I can't stand him. Dang, we going fast. That man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Aya, looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station. Aya, hold on. I'm kicking this into turbo. We're not already in turbo? Wait up, buddy. Wait up. The whole place is going nuts. Wonder what's happened. Oh, shit. We better figure it out. Let's go. everybody Daniel where the fuck did you go <laughs> oh they're probably in that meeting room oh where I don't remember which door that was though Let's see what this guy has to say hey we have an emergency meeting in the conference room where's that other dude he's not here okay conference room well it's there's there's only so many doors Daniel, you left me. Let's go, folks. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident and the concert was canceled. 
But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine, they're at that concert. What? Daniel, screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Aya. Watch his back. Yes, sir. Mod permit. Oh, let's get some mods. Look at him go. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll be right behind you. doggy that's a good doggy when are you gonna let me tune up the guns i didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day you know as long as you see the see guns as toys you'll never touch them Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. <laughs> Wayne's my favorite. So, Man, I could do it so much better. I could turn that gun into a cannon easy. You want to leave something here? Um, No. Oops, but that goes for you too. You can never be too careful with a gun. Do you have an equipment modification permit? I do. It's right here, buddy. Which gun? Okay, um, well, the only one I have. Add a slot. Okay, so I, I added a slot, but have I gotten anything to put in the slots yet? I think I'm still not like 100% understanding this the system here but just remember cops own guns for protection don't let the guns own you yeah 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 torres you freaking square uh let's get out of here yeah if anybody has any hints on like weapon mods and stuff any uh any help with that let me know if there's something that i'm missing right now the hell does Melissa, uh, no, Eve, want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Damn, that thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. The music is so good. Ben! Daniel, stop! I gotta get my boy, rookie! <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god. Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. I don't care if I burn. 
I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Damn it. I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but, but, but. I'll get them out safe. I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. All right, I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. <laughs> Go! Hey, Dark Shadow. Hi, Egg Chin. Yoko Shimamura, ladies and gentlemen. Oh god, what am I stuck on? Hello? Oh, it's fighting time! So good. Oh, Central Park Zoo. Oh, can we go in the zoo? Oh, oh man. The zoo at night? see any animals? Oh god. Are we gonna get mauled by any animals? Did I get a new handgun? I have an M9 now. It is not as... Okay, so... The stats are down, but it has, like... Three bullets? It can shoot three bullets at a time? Is that what I'm seeing? And it has an empty mod slot or something? I'm not really sure I'm understanding. so good let's go up this way first oh I was trying to go to the phone was here. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Zoo key. Oh, good, good, good. Your inventory is full. Oh, son of a bitch. Hmm. 
Do I need all these keys? Can I discard? I can't. Junk? I have a tool? Wait. Go to the... Go to tune-up and pause menu. Hi, Sunny. Okay, so here I'm in tune-up. Okay, so if I want to tune up my M16... Add parameter values. Will be removed. No, I want to add. I don't want to remove. Oh my god. Somebody help me. None of this. You can move one feature or all bonus plus stats. And the equipment that is moved from wait so hold on okay so i have a tool and this tool doesn't add something the tool is so i can move something from one gun to another oh i thought a tool was like an an improvement like just you know okay so All right, so what do I want to do? Maybe I want to upgrade my rifle with the M9, and then here I can... Parameter will be moved, and the M9 will be lost. Am I doing this right? I want to take stats from the M9, and I want to put it on the M16. So I go here, parameter will be moved, and M9 will be lost. And I just... I'm taking this plus one plus one for range and bullets and I'm adding it to the M16. So I'm going to hit OK. So now I lost a gun and a tool. And my range and my bullets are increased, I think. And I have some space in my inventory now. I got a vest. Okay, so if I get another tool, then I can, I can get rid of one of these vests and make another one stronger. Let's see what I got. Mmm, special vest one. I'll wear that. Looks better than what the other one that I have. Okay, that was confusing, but I get it now. Thank you guys for helping me to understand that. we can move on and fight stuff. Whoa, look at this guy. Chill, chill. Ooh. Ooh. No. I got ammo. We like ammo. Oh my goodness. Is this the reptile enclosure? I feel like I'm playing Dino Cry. Oh gosh, there's a hole in the <laughs> I got medicines I'm gonna probably use one of these really quick here There are many types of rainforest snakes. Some are poisonous, but most are not. The giant worms of South America are very important to the rainforest ecosystem. Look for the brown monkey, one of our many playful rainforest friends. Oh, this is the rainforest exhibit. We can get in through here.
get around and get this uh, chest. Oh, there's there's many chests. Hell yeah. But my inventory's full. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Defense plus one. Oh, goodness. Increases defense power by one. Use it! Oh, I need to... Right, I need to use it on an item. We'll use it on our special vest. Or whatever SP vest means. Cure P. My inventory's full. Two medicines. What? Oh, medicine two. All right, I think we're we're done in here. Wonder where the monkey went. Store items at the NYPD makes sense, huh? We'll get the hang of it. Got him. Level up. I got detox. Remove poison. We'll take the ammo. I got a tool. Okay, let's use it on our um, armor thingy. Hold on. Um, tune up. Special vest one. No, yeah. And then we'll take the CM vest. CM vest will be destroyed. Yes. Okay. We're figuring it out. We're doing stuff. Hi, Ian. Hi, Granthar. Ooh, 15 ammo. Let's go in here. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, fork in the road. better than junk right what do I do with junk again hello mr. lion I can trade it for something else with the same person who lets you store items okay there was another path up here that I didn't go to. This way. Maybe this is the way.
This looks pretty promising. I need a save point. We gotta take a break, too. All of the animals have escaped. Ah, shit. Here we go. Getting somewhere. Oh shit. The holiday season brings joy to us all. And this Christmas will be the most special of all. Arg. Special because I will no longer be under the control of a host, as I have since the dawn of time. Humans are weak mitochondria, can self-evolve. Oh, humans are weak. Pause. Mitochondria can evolve. Mitochondria must now take over the nucleus. Oh no. Oh god. Where's um Ben? Ugh. They're jellifying. I'm sorry, Daniel. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> I have to get backstage and stop her. Yeah, I need to save my game here. we gonna get backstage oh there's that little girl she's leading us backstage I think I found it a giant yellow sign hi settings welcome oh shit doing this you again but you are too late you will not ruin my plans as you did last night stop she just floats away where'd she go did she leave let me check in here Everybody is a blob now. Oh no. I promised I'd get his son and ex-wife out. And I think I lied. Telephone up here. Ammo. <gasps> Telephone. Oh, shit. What the hell is this? A polar bear? Oh 
god, help! <laughs> well, that was something. Ammo. Alright, we're gonna save, we're gonna take a break, and then we'll be back cool game so far. I don't have any complaints. It's pretty rad. I like it. I like it. I'm understanding it. The weapon mod stuff. Gotta revive. Cool, cool, cool. There's that girl. We gotta go get her. We gotta go get her. I'm loving the look of this. The trees, the snow, what's on this side? Paras Parasite Eve is going great, Wonka. Better grab whatever this is. girly go which way SV vest SP SV not quite as good but it has a plus one like Inventory space if I wear it or something. I'm not sure Which sounds pretty cool. Oh, no, it's the bear Oh my god, he's a lot lighting my vest that I'm wearing. This girl taking us around in circles.
Is it a bear? Oh, bunch of birds. Oh god. It's a whole gaggle of them. A murder of crows? What's a gaggle? Is that birds? Is that geese? A gaggle of geese? A murder of crows? me stop pecking at me i got a right i got a right for once wow okay whoa that's a lot of junk i don't have enough room for all of that oh crap man i gotta trade this junk in where are we going well let me see my items here um So I can take these keys that I'm not using anymore and I can uh, I can store them in the NYPD. So they're not taking up all my space. Oh my God, I am going to die. There we go. Holy crap. I gotta level up though, that's good. I got some bonus points, some ammo. Lots of ammo. Ooh, that guy hurt. Let me use uh, my heal too. Boom. Hmm. Should I upgrade my active time? Yeah, let's do that. Let's sort. Items first. Medicines other or other medicines. Medicines at the top. Ooh, that's so nice. So much better. So much better. Um, let's try the stairs first. Oh my god, I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I should have gone in the building. <clears throat> oh no! Three of them? Too bad as long as you can keep your distance. Ah. They get poisoned. Hmm. Let me see what's in this building. Poison only lasts during fights. Oh, nice. Well, in Final Fantasy, it 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 stays forever. <laughs> Hi, Joel. Good evening. Oh, it just leads me here. Wow. Okay. All we can save. 
why they've been putting a, a fight right right before the save come on now yes please feeling a little nervous all righty Oh, this is different music. Got one. Got one of them fuckers. I think. Ow. Keep healing. Oh my god, I am not doing a good job at dodging this shit. Than the rest, isn't he? Oh god. 45 damage? Oh my god.
Looking good for the homies. have evolved barrier use per, uh, pe to absorb damage defense plus oh my god hold on i need that i'm gonna get rid of um should i get rid of junk or should i get rid of a pure p i guess the junk i don't know I don't know what you could trade that in for, so I don't know how how good that stuff is. Okay, let's use defense plus one on our special vest, and then a defense plus one on our special vest. And we are good. Good to go. Should we save again? Maybe? It's literally called junk. Yeah, but people said I could trade it for something. I don't know if I could trade it for something good or what. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> we have a scare alert, an unintentional scare alert. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, you think it's fun to mess with me, huh, Joel? I see. I see how it is. Hello. Your genes are stronger than I thought. Come, my dear, let's go for a ride. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Whoa! This is so weird. I love it though. Why? Why be on the human side? Why not? I'm a human. What are you? Why are you going with them and not me? Uh, because you're killing all my friends? What? Ah! Ah! Shoot her in the face.
Oh god, phase two? What's happening? It seems you still don't know who I am. Well, if you don't know, your mitochondria will. That's why you were drawn to the opera. What are you talking about? Here, let me explain directly. Stop it! Oh God, get them fingers away from me. If we join forces, all the other mitochondria in the world will... Stop! Scrapey. that Aya! Aya! Answer me! Daddy! Oh, thank God he didn't turn into slime. Ben, weren't you going to the concert? I came here with Mom, but she... She was all weird. What do you mean, Ben? I came with mom so the three of us could be together. So that's why you came to get me. Mom went to the stage, but she freaked out. What do you mean mom freaked out? I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mom wasn't herself, Dad. She left and everybody else went too. Lorraine. Casualties were much worse this time. We cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy any longer. We have orders to evacuate all citizens out of Manhattan. Fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. What do we do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we leave it to the army? We're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city. Any word from Aya? Damn it, where could she be? Daniel, I need to help back evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm going to go look for her. Fuck you, boss! <laughs> yeah, stick it to him, Daniel. Stick it to him. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He lost Lorraine. He'll find Aya. You two help with the evacuation. Daddy! Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she's the only one that can fight the thing that hurt your mommy. Kath, look after the kid, will ya? I will, don't worry. Daddy! Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. Good doggy. Can I show this boy the dog? Sure, let me open the fence. Hey, you got a visitor. Hello. 
This is Shiva. Ah, oh, Shiva. Ah. Oh. Hey, I think she likes ya. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Aw, oh, wholesome. I hope something horribly wrong doesn't happen. Okay, I think we're good. I was like waiting for the dog to like sprout some kind of, I don't know, demonic body parts or something. Ice skate? How many times do I gotta tell you? We blocked this off. You won't even find a cat on this street. I told you, I've already contacted the police about this matter. What? Uh, uh I, I'm not getting it anywhere with my English. Hey, you Chinese? No, I am Japanese. Nanda? Nihonjin desu ka? Nani? Oh, yes. Can you speak Japanese? Chotto dake ne. Dare desu ka? I am Kunihiko Maeda. Uh, Japanese. Uh, ah, no. Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. Heh, <laughs> heh. Fuck you. Uh, uh. Yes, yeah, serves you right. Calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. Oh, uh, I'm getting... I'm... I'm hot. Help! I guess it's now or never. What the hell? <laughs> this is horrible. Spontaneous human combustion. I believe that is correct. Where? Hospital? Where are we at? Oh, you're finally awake. Well, who are you? I'm Kunihiko Maeda. I am a scientist from Japan. He found you. Huh? Daniel! 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 There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Where's Eve? What happened to the police in Central Park? Ben was okay, but... The rest of the audience... Well, they just disappeared. Disappeared? You mean 
They weren't ignited? They all melted into slime and became one big mass. That's something new. Nothing like that happened in Japan. Japan? A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan. Although it wasn't as grandiose in scale as this one. What are they talking about? This guy can't speak good English. Like, <laughs> he speaks better than most Americans. What? Hey, give us the details. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. Oh, is this the events of the movie? The scientist named those cells Eve. Eve? The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? She, the being who mutated from the liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. So after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl. And Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this and went to his lab so that I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over there. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. Aya, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. Thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside of me felt like it was being... You felt you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... Well, she's the only one that isn't affected. What? I... I... don't understand. I... I think I may be a monster. Like her. What? What are you saying, Aya? I don't know. What if... What if I end up killing you? Ha, shut up. You know that's not... Please, Daniel. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Please go away. Just... Just stay away from me. Aya... Please... Yes, I understand your point. Hey, where do you think you're going? What, is he under arrest? <laughs> He's walking very slowly to the door with tiny little footsteps. <laughs> Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you. Daniel, please. I, I could never forgive myself if I killed you. Aya, you're no monster. You're my best partner. Aya, Bria, I'll be your... I'll be your side. I'll buy your side. Always, Aya. Good old Daniel. 
What a bro. What a bro. <sighs> when I touched Eve, that feeling... Was it Maya? But Maya died in the car crash with Mom. Maya? No, it just couldn't be. Hey, how about that chest? 